hello guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will see how to sum elements of a list if you have not yet subscribed to our channel then please do so in order to watch more of these programming videos so let us get started we will first look at the theory part and then we will see how to code it in ide okay so given a list let us say you are given a list one two three then what we need to find is we need to sum these elements the elements of the list one plus two plus three so what will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 it will be 6 so our goal is to find the addition of the elements of a list okay so how can we do it so let us see the code if there are no elements of a list okay there are no elements within a list then the addition will be 0 and if there are some elements then we will divide it one element at a time and then we will add it so we will divide the element into two halves into head and tail so the first element will always fall in the head part while the rest of the elements will fall within the tail part okay and then we will store the sum in n and what we need to do is we will write sum list tail comma n1 and then we will add the sum of the elements present in the tail with head okay so n is n1 plus h so let us see an example in order to understand it so let us say we have three elements one two and three within our list so it is a recursive program so let me make a stack okay so in our first attempt in our first function call this one will be equals to head so head will be assigned to one and tail will be equals to two comma three okay this first line will not run this is the first line and this is the second line first line will not run because we have some elements in our list we will divide the list into two parts head will contain one and tail will contain two comma three so what will be the sum sum will be stored in n okay so sum will be whatever the sum of the elements of the tail is that will be added with the head element i don't know what will be the sum of the elements present in the tail will be whatever it will be it will be present in n1 so i will write there n1 plus h that means head and head is equals to 1 here so i will write 1 so what this will do is this sum list will make a recursive call this will make a recursive call and i will have to make another call in this call the entire list will be equals to 2 comma 3 because the list have been reduced because we are just sending this tail in the recursive call okay so our a list will be reduced to just 2 comma 3 in this case our head will be equals to 2 and tail will contain just one element which is 3 now the sum of the elements n will be equals to whatever the sum of the elements of the list is added with the head element and head is equals to 2 here so i will add 2 now this will make another recursive call this sum list will make another recursive call and in this case we will have just one element because the tail contained is having just one element in this case in the first recursive call okay so here head will contain three while tail will have no element because we had only one element in our list and so the sum n is equals to n1 plus head head is three here again a recursive call will be made and this is the third recursive call in this case what will happen is we will pass an empty list so we are just passing an empty list and you can see that in our first line this is the termination condition here it says that if we have no element in the list then zero will be returned so this will return zero so let me just change the color this will return zero on returning zero the sum here will be equals to zero plus three which will be three so it will return three on returning three this sum will become 3 plus 2 which will be equals to 5 and this will return here 5 and this sum will be equals to 5 plus 1 which will be equals to 6 so the final answer returned by this will be equals to 6 and that is what we want we wanted 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is equals to 6 and the answer returned is correct so let us see how it works in our ide so i have already given the two lines which i had already shown you in our programming part okay and i have given a query where i want to add three elements 1 comma 2 comma 3 and the value will be stored in variable n so let me just run the code and see what happens 
it is returning n is equals to 6. So this is the way to add all the elements present in a list using prolog. I hope you were able to understand how to add elements present in a list using prolog. If you have any type of query then feel free to comment below. I will try to help you as soon as possible. If you like this video then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of these videos. See you in our next video. Thank you.